I know. I know. It's been a while. It's alright, I'm back. It's alright. It's alright. Chill out. Where's Sergeant Bean? What's he been doing? Why is he uploading loads of videos of World of Tanks? Because I'm playing World of Fucking Tanks, right? Anyway, what's going on? How is everyone? So, I've got a little, little uh, message from one of his subscribers thanking me for uploading the mint stuff. It's not a problem. And I said, not doing any videos on food for a while because it gets a bit stressful. Do you know what I mean? It gets a little bit, bit, bit toey bit spicy right <coughs> so anyway today I was thinking well I've literally run completely out of base gravy curry base gravy for making me curries right and sergeant does not like running out of fucking base gravy for his fucking curries right doesn't like it he wants to make a curry he can't he's bollocksed so I had to make some base gravy. Okay, made some base gravy. First step I did, I put oil in the pan, I poured the oil in there until it gets around the rim, warmed it up. In here I put in ginger, garlic, coriander, oil, blitzed it up, right? That's the paste. Couldn't, was going to put in some green bird's eye chilies. Couldn't get any because there weren't any in the fucking shop as per usual. So I just put in one of my dried, spicy, burn your bum cheeks off red chilli. Alright? Alright? Burn your bum off. I will. Don't stick up your bum. Because that would be even worse. Whacked one of them in. Blitzed it. Put it in the warmish oil, slightly cooks it off. Right? Then what did I do? Then I chopped up onion. Yeah, onion or onions, right? Tomatoes, red pepper, and green pepper, right? And then I whacked in the oil, some garam masala, some curry powder, turmeric, cumin powder. And uh, other bits and bobs that I can't remember. Oh, so coriander powder, powder. So I've done that, and then I made some garam masala water, which is basically cloves, cardamom pods, bay leaves in a pan of water. Boil it up for about half hour, then pour, sieve it, pour it in, add more water, boil all your stuff up. Get all your vegetables soft, blitz it, job done. Alright? I did that with my curry base curry gravy. It looks okay, it looks reasonable. Um, but then I added in the rest of the coriander that I bought, some more garlic, more ginger, another bum warming chili, blitz it up again, that's done. I'm just letting that simmer. So, what's this all about? What's he doing? We're doing burger. We're doing a burger, all right? Now, I've cut the potato, Maris Piper, up into strips. Oh, it's got salt in it. Chips are going in. We're just gonna boil them off. Nothing spectacular, all right? Because I've done a video for a while, so I'm a little bit all out of sync. Do you know what I mean? So what's been going on? What has been going on in the kitchen? Well, not a lot, right? We've had to go budget, right? So I haven't even got... I haven't even got butter, mate, right? Um, I've gone for sodding. Now, I know this is a massive sin. I know this isn't butter, and you know it's not butter, but I've gone for it. 90p, honest value, soft spread. That will do fine. Right, so last week I got paid, or well, two weeks ago I got paid, and basically for the first half of the week, um, I was living on toasties, right? Literally toasties. Cheese and ham, 
with a bit of lettuce and tomato and mayonnaise, George, George Formby Grill Toasties. That's what I was doing, right? Because we're now, the sergeant's getting really affected by the cost of living bullshit, right? Sergeant's been experiencing some massive poverty issues. I'm getting bored of it, right? The float jar trick is still going ahead. Now, I've reduced it to make it easier for myself from the good months being 800 quid to the poor months that were 400 quid. I've gone bollocks, I've slashed it down to two. A, buys me two more weeks to get it sorted out and it's more reasonable to do. Okay, so we're aiming for April. We're aiming for April when Sergeant has actually got the ability to fucking go out to a pub, have a pint and not think, well next week I'm going to be skinned because that's what it's all about. I've got some I've got some upper roof splatter going on here. I don't know if anyone can see that. You might be able to. That's mildly embarrassing. Yes, so. Yeah, so I haven't been doing much cooking videos lately. Um, yeah, it just got a little bit worn out of it, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it all takes its toll. You know, I've got... I've got Wild Man Creations racing ahead of us, even though he's producing utter shit. I've got Adam Garrett, who's just literally given up the ghost and fucked off to fuck knows nowhere. I'm presuming, because he's in retail, he's probably quite busy. That's my assumptions. Let's check my dodgy camera. My dodgy camera is working. Oh, uh, what else happened? Um, one of the Romanians at work kicked off. Uh, called my country shit so I just basically went into one and basically said to him don't like it fuck off or I'll deport you me fucking self that's how that goes um, it's a Sunday it's very late at night um, like I said we're doing burgers right we're doing a bit of burgerage because I want something easy. I wanted something easy to introduce myself back into the fray. Okay. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to be doing as many cooking videos as I used to. Them days are gone. Them days are over. Now, why is that? It's because... I probably got to a certain expert level of cooking, right? I'm still waiting for the letter from Michelin. It's, I know it's coming, but we just gotta wait for it, alright? So, we just had to rein ourselves in a little bit, because I was getting a little bit too threatening to other Michelin star chefs that are out there, right? And I know they were looking at my videos going, fucking hell, this geezer is literally gonna take my job. And I was on the verge. I was on the verge, yeah? Once that letter from Michelin comes in, bang, that's it, your job's gone, mate. Sergeant takes over and you're out of the job. Yeah, so anyway, one of the Romanians kicked off at work. I had a spaz. I actually walked out, uh, and then my boss at work rang, rang me up and said, like, don't be a knob, come back to work. So obviously I went back to work. Um, and yeah, I'm not rough. I'm on civil terms with him. Like, you don't call my country shit, mate. If you do, fuck off. Simple as that. Simple as that. We had the... Um, we had our 11th of November uh, Amnesis Day at the weekend uh, down in the shithole of London. Uh, don't go down there. Uh, I didn't, obviously, because I'm not mental. Um, yeah, it all seemed to be going okay. Um, the old uh, 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 plasticines for Israel, for Palestine and Hamas supporters and all that stuff. You know, we shouldn't have them in the country in the first place. It's quite bad. 
Um, there will come a point when they're not in the country because I think the country uh, will sort the people of the country will eventually get to sort it out. Um, but it all seemed to go okay. I was quite pleased with it. Everyone paid their respects. I paid my respects. I paid my respects at 11 o'clock whilst I was queuing up in the co-op. Um, and it all went quite well. Everyone was very respectful. Right, so what we're doing? We're doing burgers. Right, so we've got some 20% beef fat, right? I've got some 20% beef fat and I've got some pork mince as well. But 20% beef mince and pork mince. So we're going to make burgers. Now, there's a few things I want to be putting in the burgers, right? But that's going to be for part two. Because I want it to be a mystery. I want it to be something special. Even though it's going to be just a cheeseburger with onion and lettuce and tomato. Yeah, I know. Very simple. Well, Sergeant, why are you doing such simple stuff on your first video back after not being videos for ages? Why didn't you do a video last Sunday when I done an awesome Sunday dinner? Because I didn't. I didn't feel like videoing it. It takes a lot of work. It's not easy. You know, it's not easy being up there in the heights of 72 subscribers. Yeah, 72. Not 62 or 52, but 72 people like my shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway. We're going to start to drain these fries. This is a very important moment. Everyone has to adhere to it. Right? So we're going to get a cloth and we're going to get a plate. And I will show you how we do it properly. Not amateur, not Bernie in chef, but proper. Right? Right, drain the hot water. In it goes. Don't shake them about. Just let them lie. Let them lie as they are. The worst thing you can do now is touch them. Well, I'm going to touch them because I'm going to spread them out a little bit. But apart from that, let the cooling do the work. Right? Just leave them. I know you're tempted to fiddle and you're going, oh, I need to move that one there and that one. No, don't do it. Yeah, you're expert on your, on your backing you up. Me, Michelin, literally, at least one star, I reckon. Right, I'm just stirring the curry base gravy and I've got loads of it and I'm very pleased with it. It's got a beautiful colour. It's got a very beautiful consistency. Oh shit. I'm now frying this spoon. We've got fruit, fruit spoon frying now. So we've got a nice consistency going on now. Yeah, alright, chill out. For fuck's sake, it's only a spoon. Right, that's just going to be sitting now in the background doing its thing. I'm going to lower it down actually. Right, fries. Right, we're going for table salt. I'm not going for sea salt. Why is that? It's because I want a finer salt spread on my fries. Plenty of salt. Plenty. A bit more as well. Right, I'm not putting any pepper on it. It's just going to be salt and fries. Alright. So we're going to leave them to cool down. While I get myself together and try to work out what the fuck I'm going on about. I'm going to call that part one. I, I welcome everyone back to the channel. I am back. There will be videos, but it's going to be more measured. I'm going to call that part one and I'll 
See you lovely people. Part two. Play with you.